there's one feature on Raven that we use quite a lot, and that's document notifications. You know, whenever a new expense claim is created, a salary slip is submitted, you know, we, we like to send notifications and we have completely removed email um, as a primary means of communication. So, you know, today we're going to learn how to set up document notifications on Raven without writing a single line of code. So you can see I'm, I'm on the finance channel here on our prod site and whenever an expense claim is created, you know, Aditya has created an expense claim for a thing, travel. Uh, and we get this nice little preview um, of the document. You can, uh, you know, copy the link to the document. You can print it. You can apply workflow actions. And we're going to learn how we can set this up. So I have a, I have a demo site set up over here. Uh, we have a finance channel similar. And what we want is that when we create a new expense claim in Frappe HR, it should send a notification. To do that, first of all, we need to create a bot. The bot needs to be able to send the message to the finance channel. And to be able to create a bot and set up these notifications, you need to have the Raven admin role. Uh, so just quickly ensure if you have the Raven admin role set up in your user profile, uh, I do. So we can go ahead and set up the bot first. To create a bot, go to the settings page and then click on agents. Here you can create a new bot. I'm going to call it and you know, just expenso uh, and description could be, it's not mandatory, but you know, a bot to handle expense claims. Nice. We don't need this to be an AI agent yet um, because this is, you know, without AI, but uh, Let's create this agent. So we're done with that. We've created an agent called Expenso. And now we can set up the document notification itself. To set up the document notification, go to integrations and under integrations, you'll find document notifications. Um, and we're going to create our first notification. So I'm going to call this notification as an expense claim created, right? I want to send this expense claim, you know, notification that, hey, this employee has created a new expense claim. I want to send this to, you know, the finance channel when a new document of type expense claim is created, right? Um, and so now we want this to be sent via Expenso. So Expenso will send this expense claim, right? Whenever a new document is created. Next up, we have message content. So uh, along with the document preview, you can also get like a message and you can use Jinja over here. In fact, you can use HTML and Jinja and it will just render directly on Raven. Um, I want this to be pretty simple, but I could say something like, hi, uh, a new, expense claim was created by and we want the employee name now in our expense claim document type we have a bunch of variables and in fact we have listed them all over here so you can take doc dot employee name i will copy that so uh, hi a new expense claim was created by for and then i can put in the amount as well so I think the amount would be something grand total. Take that in, paste it. Hi, a new expense claim was created by whatever the employee name is for this much money, right? And that's it. That's your message content. Now we need to decide, you know, who is going to get this message. Uh, in our case, we only want to send it to the finance channel. So we're going to add a recipient and you can add multiple recipients. So you can have the same message be forwarded to multiple channels, right? In our case, the channel type would be channel and not a direct message. We don't want to send it to a specific person. We want to send it to a channel. And uh, over here, you can actually embed, you know, document field and Jinja. But for now, let's just stick to the basics uh, because we know that we want to send it to the finance channel. Uh, this says Raven hyphen finance, 
because it's belonging to the Raven workspace and the finance channel. That's it. So channel type, channel, static, and then the value is Raven Finance. So whenever a new expense claim is created, uh, fill in this message and push it to the finance channel, right? You can then also set up conditions. Uh, in our case, we don't really want any conditions. So for now, let's just create this document notification. Great, we have a document notification created. And now what we'll do is that we'll test it. So I'm going to go here and create a new expense claim. I'm going to pick the employee as Aditya and let's say that Aditya spent some amount of money traveling, right? 2000 rupees in traveling. And we need to pick an expense approver and that's it. Now this should have created a message on the finance channel. There you go. Hi, a new expense claim was created by Aditya and Lolge for 2000, right? One thing that you'll note over here is that these fields that you see in this preview, they aren't really that helpful, right? Uh, apart from maybe the company and even that is helpful if you're in a multi-company setup. So let's quickly customize these fields as well. To customize, go to settings, go to document previews. In document previews, pick up your doc type. In our case, it's expense claim and we'll set up uh, certain fields that we want to see, right? The by default in Frappe HR, the title of the expense claim is the name of the employee. So we don't need the employee name. Maybe we can show the company. Um, we can show the approval status. Uh, let's see what else we can show the posting date maybe. And the remarks, if there are any, I think, and we obviously need to show the grand total. That's it. So hit update preview and you get a new updated preview over here. So let's go back to our channel and you'll see now this is much nicer, right? Uh, you get all the fields that you want to see and you can click on this button to open it in a new tab. And this also works on the mobile app, by the way. Go back here. You can also apply workflow transitions. So if you want to approve the expense claim, I've already set up a workflow uh, in, in Frappe HR for this. So if I just hit approve, it will actually approve the expense claim. And if I go back here, you'll see that now it's, uh, the approval status is approved and uh, you know, it says unpaid. Well, uh, and when it's, in fact, we would also like to see the status of the payment maybe, right? So for that, you can again go to document preview, pick up your doc type, expense claim, and let's see, status, perfect. Now if I go over here, it says status unpaid. Great, so without any coding, we have set up document notifications, and in fact, this works for any doc type out of the box. Right, uh, so hopefully, you know, you learned something new today. And if you're not using Raven, uh, you can try it out. The links are below. Uh, yeah, thanks, bye.